Great to be here with you live at noon. We're a couple minutes late. I apologize for that. But listen, we're excited. This, If you listen to this on podcast, this is episode number 100 of Targeted Lead Generation. And we're excited that you, you've been with us for 100 episodes. We're going to be here for hundreds of more. And we're excited to be sharing with you. And that's why we're bringing you this special episode today on how to build your business. Whether you've got a business that you're just thinking about putting together, or you got a business that you've been working for a long time and things just aren't working the way you want. You want to grow. You want to build. You want to make this even more exciting. Well, that's why we're here today, to show you some of that. And again, this is our weekly live, and we are so excited to have you as a guest. We're so excited to have you here with us. Um, just so you know what's coming up in the world, we got some great guests coming up um, on the podcast itself with some new lead generation stuff. We have some great new leadership stuff. If you're looking to build your business, you've just dialed in to the right place because we're here for you. So the other day I was listening, I got kind of inspired. I was listening to a podcast from one of my clients and in very simple terms, they said, you know, we have all these processes out there to teach you how to be an accountant, a lawyer, a plumber, a salesperson. We got schools out there that can train you. You know, I'm actually, believe it or not, I am a trained accountant. That's what I went to school for. But we have schools and they can teach you how to be really good at those things. But what we don't have a school for, and it kind of hit me real hard, said, we don't have a school to teach people how to be entrepreneurs. How do you run your own business? You know, you take a great accountant and a lot of times they put together a company and it fails. A great lawyer, a great plumber, a great painter. It doesn't matter what the business is. You can be a superstar. I was a great programmer. Okay. But I ran into a whole different realm when I put together uh, my own software systems firm. So there's no school out there to help you do it. So how does one who is great at those things and wants to build their own firm, how do they do it? What do they do to build a successful business? And that's where we want to try to get to today. That's what we want to try to help you with today. That's what we want to help you to be a superstar today with. What does one do to build a successful business? Some of you might already be there. You might be the best of the best, but you're not a business person. So I can do your books, Manny, and I can make them fly. I can Get, I can take care of your legal needs. I can come into your home and make sure every water and faucet and everything works. I can come in there and whatever you do, I am the best at. But that's not building a business. So what do you do to make your business as good as you are? How do you create a law firm that's as good as a law firm as you are a lawyer? How do you create a plumbing company that's as good at plumbing as you are a plumber? How do you make it happen? The number one way you can make this happen is by building successful systems and processes that work. Plain and simple. The big companies have always known it and the big companies have always done it. And I wanted to share with you today, let just give me a second here, I'll go off camera for one second. I'm still talking to you. You know I'm here. I'm just looking for something. Yep, there it is. Okay, so I wanted to share with you, if you're on the podcast, of course, you're not going to be able to see this, but if you're on uh, the live broadcast, here's a new book, 90 Days to Your Success. Yeah, you can see the line we haven't got any of the printed copies yet, but they are available out there. 
And I wanted to tell you, this is one of those things that does systems. A system to know what you're going to do in the next 90 days. And if you have that, you can make tremendous difference in your own business. Yeah, we're dealing with a lot of light. <laughs> Sorry about that. For those of you watching us live on the video, you're seeing a lot of light because the sun just decided to come out. And we always try to use that natural light over top of uh, the artificial light. So sometimes if that happens, we get a little bit too bright. So I do apologize for that. Um, so the big companies have always known it. So whether you're just thinking about it or you business business for a long time, whether you tried it in the past, it didn't work. Or it did work, but it didn't work the way you wanted. Systems will help you. Again, I was working with one of my clients this morning. Now, this CEO, happen, I happen to have had the pleasure of working with him since before he, long before he was a CEO, and um, a long time since he's been a CEO. So it, it's tremendous. And this CEO's skill, or as you know, as we talk about all the time in the leadership models, right? What's your strengths? Well, one of the strengths that this client has is unbelievable levels of success because he's a systems guy. He has a system for everything in his company, and that's why the company is so successful. He has a process, a way to do it, and he is making it work, and he's taught his people to build systems. When things don't work, you need a system, and, and they've just, they, they're just amazing. And we were working today on actually how could he take those systems and those processes in his industry, in his business, and go out, acquire some other firms that aren't doing that well, and turn them around. Because with the right system in place, you can do that time after time after time. So that, that's one of the amazing things. If you're thinking you want to be a business owner or an entrepreneur, or you have a business and you get pulled in every direction, living in reactive instead of proactive, and you know how many times I've always talked about that, get into that proactive mode, right? You need systems. I was working with another client just to share another quick story here with you. And um, so I'm working with another client over the past few months and we brought in a new COO, and that COO was able to build and implement systems that this company needed, that this company didn't have. And he's, he's been successful in taking this company, who was on crutches for a while, moved them to sneakers, and, if, you know, and watching him, he's moving them to running shoes next. So that, that is an amazing piece of what can happen with the right system. I'm a systems guy from training. I grew up as a programmer. I worked as a systems analyst. I worked as a consultant. I understand systems, automated or manual. They make a difference. And if you have a system, you can get so much more done. And you can grow, and you can grow your profits and be so much more successful. So what I want to share with you today is a few systems that you need to look at in your own business a few things that you need. This is by no means, and we're working on probably going to do a book in this area very shortly, but right now, what we'll try to share with you today, <clears throat> just a few things that you need to look at and say, do I have a system in that? Is it working for me? If not, how do I get it working, and how do I become more successful? Number one is a sales system. Now, you know, if you've been watching me and my uh, live broadcast or the podcast or reading the articles, you know, I've been preaching this for a long time for those of you who follow me. We, we, one of the things we specialize in is coming in and showing you how to build a sales process and sales system that defines who you're going after, how to find them. So what you need is you need a system that says, this is who we go after. This is how we find prospects. This is how we go after them. This is how we build proposals. This is how we do presentations. This is how we close 
business. How does that process work? It needs to be documented. And people, when you hire a new salesperson, they can come in and they know what they're doing and they know how to get it done. Number two is a customer service system. So when a call comes in or a customer stops by with a problem or you get called out on a problem, you know what to do. This is how we handle systems. This is how we, as a, using a medical term, triage them, right? This is how we know whether this is a showstopper, whether this is a problem, or whether this is somebody that we can, we can wait for. You know, they do that in the hospital, and we've been able to adapt it a lot to business because it's the same thing in customer service, right? How does your customer service handle problems? What can they do? What can't they do? I find more and more businesses out there are putting in systems so their customer service can do whatever they need to to move the customer to being satisfied. And I think Amazon set, set in the path for that, whether you like Amazon or you don't. The point is... I buy something from Amazon. I don't like it. I send it back. There's no questions asked. Just moves on. Number three, you need a hiring system. How do you find prospective employees? How do you interview? I don't know how many clients I've worked with over, over my entire career moving to a team interview, moving to a process where you can other people look at, you know, I used to, when I first started, I said, I like that guy I'm hiring. I like that girl. She's coming aboard. And I got burned and burned and burned. And I learned the hard way. But you need a system. This is how we evaluate things. This is how we make the decision. This is how we reach a decision on hiring or not. And yeah, <clears throat> sorry, sometimes it gets a little messy. Sometimes it gets a little overburdened. But guess what? It's okay. You can make it work. Trust me. The key to remember here is that systems do not need to be extremely complex. They do not even need to be automated, but they need to be a working process. When you have a system, you don't need to do it all. You don't have to be the person who knows and does everything. Whether you're a business owner, whether you're an executive, whether you're a manager, whatever, you know how we get bogged down and we're all of a sudden, everything's sitting on these shoulders and I'm doing it all and I'm going crazy. I know all the systems in my company, and but it doesn't do me any good, does it? I can't grow, I can't build, I can't move on and move up. Because I'm doing all the work. I need a system to make sure the work gets done. And I know sometimes people fear that, especially in a corporate environment. Well, if I write all this up, they won't need me. I know. And then you can move on to something else. Again, we, we want to share with you the book, 90 Days to Your Success. This is the book. Get a system for you. Get a system for personal development. Get a system to move you forward. Number four, a payroll system. Now, how do you pay? And I'm going to tell you, if you have one employee beside yourself, you need to work with a payroll vendor. You need a system out there that takes care of your payroll. And I'm not even going to argue with you. Then you, that system, how do you get people into the system? How do you take them off? How do you handle benefits? How do you pay other things? You need a system that says you do A, B, C, D. Number five is you need an accounting system. An accounting system could be six systems by themselves. You need, how do you handle cash? How do you make sure that you have enough cash? What do you do to check? How do you as the owner make sure the cash that comes in and the cash to go out are right? How do you check those things? How do you know what needs to be paid? How do you make sure payments get done? When do you pay bills? How do you get things billed and paid? How do you make sure you're collecting? Because I'm going to tell you, one of the biggest things is huge accounting, right? Huge receivables can drive the company out of business overnight. Number six, you need a product system. 
How do you build your product? How do you deliver your service? How do you do this stuff? Now, this area, probably a lot of you are ahead because this is the main thing. You know, I write books and I have a system that goes from here's an idea to here's the printed copy. We're done. This started as an idea and it went through the system that made it into a product. We do podcasts weekly from the podcast idea to the live release. We have a system and the system says you do this, you do this, and then you do this. I'll share one more with you. You need a system to terminate employees. This is kind of the one nobody likes and nobody has. And when they need to fire somebody, nobody knows what to do. And, the, you know, how many times have I been working with a company in that situation? How do you remove people? What's the process? And even in a small company with only a few employees, you need a system. So that's here today. We talked about a few systems. You know, I talked about seven processes here. We're going to work on a book and some other stuff, so that's coming in the near future. There are many more within you operating your company. You can't put all these systems in tomorrow. So I know many of you type A personalities out there are going to be, i, I got to do this. This looks good, Manny. I'd like to do this. But you can't do it that way. What's most critical system that you need to implement next week? Build the system, test it, get it working. Take something simple to start out with, then go to the next one. It's amazing what you can do. You need systems to help you grow, to make a profit, and to build your company. Targeted lead generation is here. We've been here now for 100 live episodes. Isn't that exciting? It is. 100 episodes and we've taught many things, and we look forward to that next 100. And maybe you want to go back, and remember, it's targeted lead generation. If you're not listening on a podcast, if you're watching live, whatever, get out there, check us out. If you need some help, first of all, get out to Amazon, get a copy of 90 Days to Your Success. It's the book that's going to help you start down that road. If you need to get connected with me, Give me a call. Go out to coachmanny.com. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to work with you. And I want you to get your business to that next level of success. Get some systems in place. Get rocking. Get moving. Wow. Again, you know, one of the things I love is when I get to talk about subjects that are just passionate we, we get so much more. So do you. When you're out there and you're working with clients or you're working with prospects and you get that passion in you, you're going to make a big difference in getting the business. And we'll talk about that on a future episode. This is Coach Manny. It's been exciting to be with you. I hope this has taught you a few things. I hope you can use what we taught today. And I wish you some great success. Take care and enjoy your day.